Alright guys, so Creatures of Scenario has updated and they have added in two brand new creatures and these are Halloween exclusive creatures. So yeah, let me show you guys how to get them. Okay, so the first mission is this mission right here, Pumpkin Smasher. And you gotta smash 250 pumpkins to get this creature, but you can actually get the creature without smashing 250 pumpkins, but it does depend on your luck. So let me show you guys how to actually do this. Okay, so first things first, go ahead, get yourself a flying creature because Flying creatures are the best. We're gonna get ourselves a Eubius since that's just what I like to use for events. So um, yeah, go, let's go ahead and spawn in now. All right, so now that we have spawned in, basically what you wanna do is you're gonna want to go to the Flower Cove, Central Rock Bases, and Pride Rocks. And you just wanna go in that rotation and go and collect all the pumpkins. And um, yeah, let me show you guys. All right guys, so right now we're at the Central Rock Bases. And again, you can either go to the Central Rock Bases the flower cove or the pride rocks either one of those works and they do spawn in so this right here is the pumpkins that you're going to be smashing so click on e and it's going to be like a little mini game basically you just have to click um yeah that's pretty much it you just got to click and then you get candy and uh yeah so they spawn pretty often as you can see there's one more right here click on this and basically you just do this over and over again and there is a chance that you can actually unlock the creature so you actually don't have to complete um, this mission. This is just like a 100% guarantee. If you smash 250 pumpkins, you will get this creature. But you do have a chance while doing and uh, while smashing these pumpkins that you will get the creature. And I did get one on stream when I was streaming the event with you guys and playing with you guys. I did manage to get one and it was pretty insane because I mean, I was pretty shocked because it's a pretty rare chance. But again, there is still a chance that you could get the species. Also, while you're actually uh, looking for the pumpkins, what you could also get besides the species and candies, what you could get is you could get a token, a trick or treat token. And I'll show you guys what that does. So wait, let me do one more. Let's see if we get, and we got candy. So yeah, candy is the most common thing, but if you go to inventory, as you can see, I did get a trick or treat token and um, yeah, it is the second rarest thing I believe besides getting the creature. So yeah, so if we use this, as you can see, we got a material cracked lava and these are the rewards on the screen right now that you could get from the trick or treat token. So um, yeah, it's pretty nice. All right, so the next creature, so if we go to missions, as you can see that you can get is the werewolf creature and you're gonna need to complete the werewolf fang ritual. So if you go to the redwoods, you see those that question mark right there? That is where you're gonna need to go to see where the ritual is. And let me show you guys how to actually complete this. Okay, so here we are at the redwoods, as you can see, and this is the ritual right here. And we're gonna need to deliver five of the werewolf fangs and the werewolf fangs only spawned at the redwoods and there is something that you can do to find them very easily because you can actually hear them. So first things first, go to this menu and go to settings, turn off everything except effects. So you wanna turn on effects and that is gonna allow you to hear and you'll hear like a ghastly noise and uh, it's like, it's really faint, but you can hear it and you just follow it. So I do hear it right now and it is somewhere over here and as soon as you get closer you look at this the here it's literally right here and it is glowing so yeah it's really easy to find there we go we found our first one and now we have to wait for it to spawn again there we go it has spawned in so once you guys hear the howl it has spawned in and it actually spawned up there so yeah all you got to do is you can literally listen for it so yeah we're just gonna wait wait for it to spawn in there we go. So we now we know that it has spawned in and now we have to listen and, uh, you know, go find it. There it is. Okay. It was on top of this rock. I don't know how we weren't able to see it, but it was on top of this rock. There we go. All right. So, and the thing is that if you go to your, uh, click on menu and go to inventory and go to misc item, as you can see, you can hold up to five werewolf fangs at a time. And once you collect five, you cannot hold any more than that. So just go ahead and deliver it. So here we go, let's go deliver it. And you do have a chance to actually unlock the creature once you deliver it. So that is the thing. So yeah, same thing with the pumpkin smasher. You have a chance to actually get the species while smashing pumpkins. But with the werewolf, you also have a chance to get it once you deliver five fangs. So let's deliver and see what we get. And there we go. We got 50 candy, not what we wanted, but I mean, you know, it's okay. 
so um yeah once you deliver it as you can see there is a eight minute cooldown so once uh you know there's the cooldown just go ahead and look for the five other things wait for the cooldown and then you just come back and deliver it and just hope that you get the creature or once you deliver it 50 times you will get the creature 100 percent so yeah it's a guaranteed chance you'll get the creature and um yeah that is pretty much it for now the other thing that they have added in is a maze so you're gonna want to go to the desert and you can already see it there it is there's the portal right there it is uh it's pretty visible you can see it from pretty far so let's go ahead and fly to the portal oh yeah guys i forgot to actually do the maze you're gonna need to be a uh, a tiny creature so yeah you do have to be a tiny creature and um yeah we're gonna be using the puff one you could uh use any other tiny creature that you want so yeah let's go ahead and go into the maze and the maze basically gives you candy so yeah let's go to the maze and as you can see the sound is uh it is quite scary so um yeah let's go ahead and look for the uh you know i'm gonna turn this down a little bit because uh, it's pretty loud for me because i do have max volume on so yeah, let's turn it down a bit and now let's go ahead and look for the maze and uh, basically in this maze there's a time limit and you're gonna want to find the exit and i believe there are three levels so you just want to run around until you find the exit as you can see we have a minute 30 remaining and we just have to look for the ending of this maze and it's right here so there we go finished level and now let's go to number two so yeah let's go ahead and do this and the talk is ticking so we got to find this quickly and i don't know how much candy you actually get i think it tells you once you complete it so yeah let's go ahead and just look for this door all right it's not this one so there are some decoy ones uh it is not this one either so let's just keep on looking all right there we go we finally found it that took a while all right so as you can see you have completed level two and awarded 18 candies and now this is the final one and uh, it is quite dark so yeah this is definitely the best way to get candies if you can speed run it and find all the doors very quickly so um yeah let's see if we can find this one and there we go maze minigame finish level and it should teleport us there we go look at that guys we just got 50 candies and also uh, a bunch of other candies and uh we're inside of the ground and we're gonna die from oxygen now well um that's great but um yeah guys that is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you all in the next video peace out